everyone and uh, welcome to northeastwarms.com if it's the first time that you are in my channel my name is Gaetano and I am the owner of northeastwarms.com so if you are uh, uh, you know if you follow me on my youtube channel you see that you saw that uh, it's a little time that I don't post nothing that is uh, for a reason I was a very very busy guy so I, I, I harvested the all the huge bedding and the transfers move all the worms to the other side. I had to pass everything through the harvester. I resetted all the nursery bean and it was really, really a lot of job. I harvested in total, I think it's about two tons of, 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 of pure worm casting. So today what I do, I will start the new compost pile with 600 pounds of veggie scraps. I got somebody that gave to me 600 pounds of uh, kitchen scraps. I will uh, uh, show you right now how I'm starting this new compost pile. Guys, if you saw the other video, you already know that uh, the uh, huge bean, you know, this one, it was uh, on uh, this side. And the other side was the compost pile that was uh, getting ready to move and transfer all the worms. So the old bedding, it was uh, like a ear more or less, okay? So it was all these spaces. So to harvest and shovel everything, I took out this side that I will put back. So, and the worms, they actually move, uh, a lot of worms, they actually move to the new side that is this one. But uh, of course there were a bunch of worms, really a lot of worms over there. So I passed everything to the big harvester. Everything didn't pass through the one eight inch uh, mesh. So that means pure compost you went back on um, on, uh, on on this new side of the of the bed I just put some warm chow on the top and everything i will give you some nice water right now and i i'm, I'm still uh, in, uh, in 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 the process to to to, to fix you know and to set up um, this side i just finished the actually yesterday night uh, this new side so what i do now I'm preparing the new compost. I will put this cardboard on the bottom. Okay, all this cardboard and uh, that I have, I will put on the top. And uh, I will use this time uh, for the carbon part, some of this pine sh uh, shave. This is very fine pine shave. And this is what I will use. Uh, I live in the city, guys, so I don't have a lot of chance to have uh, a lot of carbons. And I use some pit moss and um, carbon pile but what i reuse sorry for the noise there are the other thing what i reuse i just uh, went to pick up a lot of these mushrooms you know substrate this is uh, perfect it's a carbon i just pick up a lot of this stuff here you see so i don't know if i will use all right now but uh, uh, so i will save some for later okay so let me prepare everything and I'll show you how I'm doing this stuff. Oh, I forget it, guys. I have the warm mobile. You see, this is my warm mobile. It's beautiful, right? With my little trailer. Uh, guys, I want to show you the, the veggies. This is all full and actually Monday, I can go to pick up another one. Uh, this is actually no full. The full full is around 1,100 pounds. This one was uh, like 600 pounds. So I already used uh, some uh, to feed uh, my uh, little bigger than uh, the new city because they are uh, juvenile. So you see, that's all, all veggie scraps. So there are a lot of liquid because they were frozen. So I have to put a bunch of carbon uh, actually. So they were frozen and they start to tot and I have to put a lot of uh, carbon. So another thing I have to see, I wanna see if I can cut with a saw these things, you know, to have more access and shovel everything inside. But the first thing I wanna put a very good base of carbon. Again, living in the city, I don't have a lot of access of carbon. I have a lot of access of carbon in fall 
because there are a lot of, uh, of uh, trees, of course, and leaves and everything. But right now in summertime, I don't have a lot of access on, on, uh, on carbon. The only carbon I can have access is like a straws, something like that. But I have to go far in the middle of the farms and everything, and still I have to pay for that. They don't give it me for free. So at this point, uh, I bought uh, this pen shave on a tractor supply that are not expensive. It's like six bucks something each, so we'll see how many I need. Okay, so let's start to put a base of uh, all uh, uh, this one. Okay, I toss uh, like three uh, packages of uh, pine shave substrate, pine shave, this one. It's um, actually the finest one. They have uh, two sizes and they got, of course, the finest one. So now I want to put some of this uh, mushroom substrate. If it's a little hard, I have a, like a chipper, uh, when you try to use eventually. Okay, so it look like this thing is working, but because the feeder here, it's a little small, it can be a little time consuming, but it's something that definitely I want to use because look how fine he made the mushroom substrate. That's perfect. This is exactly what I want. Now, let me show you how this thing works. It's a little noisy, so it, it, it make a lot of noise, so we're ready. Okay, you see, so let me finish and do as much as I can. Around uh, 40 bags, maybe like 42, 43 bags of uh, mushroom substrate and uh, it's come out amazing. See, very, very, very fine. What is exactly what uh, I was uh, looking for. So now let's uh, see and put some of, uh, of uh, those veggies. Uh, I have to actually to open this cardboard because um, it, it's not easy, you know, to shovel everything from the top. So I will see how I can cut this uh, cardboard. And now it's uh, time to work on this beast. Uh, the cardboard is very, very thick. It's not something that I can, uh, uh, you know, just do with a cutter or with the scissors. It's, it's thick like that. So let's see if I can cut this cardboard in this way. Okay. I don't know if it's the battery that is not uh, enough. Or... Okay, I think it's the battery. Let me go change the battery. I hope I have uh, one battery that it's, uh, it, it, it's full. Okay, look like this battery, it's, it's not a full charge too, but it's a little better than the, the other one. <laughs> We got it. So I want to show you how thick is this cardboard. That's crazy. <laughs> Hold on. So look how thick is these things. I put the finger for comparison. So it's like almost two fingers thick. That's crazy. And it's actually a shame I had to cut because this is a beautiful container actually, but there are no other way to take out this stuff, uh, you know, it's uh, easy. Uh, I mean, it's, it was too tall, like this, to shovel everything. All right, let's start to shovel. So, okay, let's start this thing. Okay. Yeah, it's hard work. There are a bunch of liquid, actually, because, again, how I told you before, these things was frozen. So now the towel, it 
actually made a, a lot of liquids, really a lot of liquids. But all the carbon I put, I think that would be okay to actually absorb everything. All right, I have to cut a little plastic here and uh, come back. Okay, I put a nice amount uh, of this veggie. Now I want to spread a little bit, put on the top uh, some uh, limestone, some coffee, and go again with another layer of carbon. That's a lot of veggies, guys. So, the guy have another full container of this for me, ready to pick up on Monday, but actually, I don't know. So, I mean, these things actually, uh, there will be another layer of carbon, another layer of veggie, and one more layer of carbon. I think that in like a week or less, these things uh, will really go down on, uh, you know, on the high. So, but I don't know if I want another. Actually, the, 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 the other container is full, and fully, it told me it's around 1,100 pounds. So it's really a lot. All right, so now I want to put some coffee on the, on, the, on the top. I have a coffee for some bucks. I want to put some limestone. Limestone will help also with eventually fruit fly. But yesterday, our tractor supplied more limestone. Yeah, positive for this project. If you guys want to use the the grit without, uh, you know, thinking about. Uh, eggs uh, shall you know dry out uh, grinding and everything or if you don't use eggs maybe you are vegan or for any reason you don't use eggs well red limestone is the best choice that you can have tractor supply have a 50 pounds bag for like a five dollars something and it's amazing is uh, is perfect as grit. It's one of the best choices you can have for grit because also add a bunch of calcium to your casting. So you have the double function to grit and add calcium to your compost. Sorry if you heard on the background uh, the fan but it's pretty hot so I needed the fan <laughs> all right I think we are good with the, the limestone so next layer again carbon so pine shavings this time I will add some pit moss and again uh, uh, the mushroom substrate uh, uh, the, that is a little time consuming because uh, I have to pulverize with the chipper, but uh, it's actually it's actually very good because um, I mean it's a good idea to shred very fine and it will compost very 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 fast. So some pitmos. One of another bag of pitmos. Okay. 
Yeah, let's spread these pitmos. This is not a good idea when you're using fine pine shirt. So let me go to the other side and uh, take the fun out for one second. Okay, I don't know if you can hear the difference, but the noise. The fan. Okay, now it's time to spread this thing. A lot of job, guys. <laughs> well, we gotta do what we gotta do. <laughs> Thumb or rule, I mean, my thumbs or rule is a double volume of a carbon with the veggies so for the reason I'm using all this uh, all this carbon I want to put some more coffee actually in the top because I have a lot so some stuff from my house Okay, so I shredded, uh, uh, chipped uh, almost 50 bags uh, of uh, mushroom substrate. Now it's time to put uh, the nitrogen, the veggies again, another big layer. Yeah, again, I will not put any water because uh, those veggies are, uh, you see, are full of water. Okay, I'm done with the veggies and actually I put on the top uh, uh, all the other coffee, all the coffee, the, the bunch of coffee, and they put all um, pulverized limestone. So that uh, the limestone of a, the, the will not give, give only, you know, grit and uh, calcium to the compost, but also they will protect a little bit against uh, like fruit fly, all this stuff on the top but of course now i have to cover with all the carbon component there will be a bunch of uh, pit moss and um, and the pine pine chips pine or whatever they call it. okay pine shavings sorry fine i'm very tired this was a lot of job so what i did here what i put in total here total i put the veggie were around the, anything between six and the 700, okay? Uh, two, four, five, six, seven uh, package, uh, big packages of uh, pine uh, shavings, uh, three and a half uh, uh, pit moss, I don't know, a bunch of, of, uh, of coffee in total, uh, anything between 90 and 100 bags of uh, uh, mushrooms, uh, uh, mushroom substrate, uh, and um, that's it. Uh, but uh, uh, of course, uh, we need uh, one more layer 
of, uh, uh, of carbon, the final layer of carbon. I didn't put any water because you see these veggies are very, very moist and full of liquid and they will release more liquid. I will put just only some water on the top of everything when I will finish to top dress uh, with all the carbon part. Okay, so let's put uh, the carbon part on this uh, bed. So let's start with the pine one packages of pine shell here. Spread uh, two packages of uh, pine shaving on the top. And um, now, of course, there are no moisture on the top of the pine shaving, so I want to I wanna put a little water on the top. After the pine shaving, I will put uh, uh, some pit moss, and I will water again. And after, I will put some cardboard. I will water again, and the tarp. So. So the nice things of this uh, compost that I really don't want to call compost, I want to call like a pre-prepared food, is that uh, um, I can use when I need to feed the other beans. So right now I have uh, five huge beans full of juvenile, semi, semi-adult, uh, and they need a lot of food. So this is amazing because I can just scoop up from this uh, big compost, maybe, you know, with the fork, uh, uh, turn around and take from the bottom, maybe, you know, some, uh, and uh, feed uh, directly the big beans uh, with the juvenile pre-adult. So that will be very, 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 um, you know, useful for me and easy to do. All right, I think this water is okay for now. It's sufficient. Okay, so let's put the pit moss on the, on the top. I, maybe the pit moss is uh, really don't need it, but I want to put it because uh, um, I don't want to have any chance to come back uh, in a couple of days because actually today it's Wednesday. Tomorrow night uh, I'm going uh, for a long weekend out with my wife, so I will come back Monday morning and uh, I don't want to find, uh, you know, mind <laughs> Monday morning uh, invasion of fruit flyer. I want to be sure that I will have no fruit fry problem. Okay. So I am putting another ball of pit moss to the other side. to spread this stuff. Okay, guys, I think this is the end of the video, and if the video was a little too long, I apologize. Uh, but uh, for you, it's a little long video. For me, it was uh, like a full day of a job, more or less. We didn't prepare everything. Of course, I did other stuff, too. And uh, so it was a very, very long day, but I'm very happy. So now, my little problem thought is that Monday they have a, another of this big bin ready for me. Actually, it's more than this one. Again, this one was anything between six and 700 pounds. The other one is full and it will be around 11, 1200 pounds. Thousand, he told me between 1000 and 1200 pounds. So it's almost the double. And of course I have no space here, I, I can do here. So I have, uh, to build uh, some kind of a compost uh, pile uh, outside and uh, hopefully the property don't give me our time. So I'm, I think I'm passing on this stuff. 
it's a shame because I really would like to have, a, you know, in the compost. But we got to do what we got to do. This is the situation right now. And, um, I mean, I feel blessed to found uh, all this stuff. I have really resolved a lot of problems. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Please subscribe uh, and uh, go on uh, uh, my website if you need anything. I'm not shipping still worms. And it's, uh, today it's like 95 degrees. It's uh, still hot. And uh, I, I really want to wait. So I'm not shipping worms. But I have a worm show. I have a bunch of other stuff if you're interested. My worm show is doing great. Worms lover, customer lover. I have a bunch of uh, returning customers that are buying worm show again and again to feed the worms, the worms lovers. So go ahead if you want to try my warm show. Thank you very much, guys. Please subscribe. Bye.